Hello everyone. Uh, hi, I am Yarwin and uh, this is my channel. Welcome. Uh, if you are new here, I am new here. I have only been here a couple weeks. So thank you for joining me. Today I am going to unbox another deck. Oh, and I forgot I was making tea. There's my teapot. One moment, please. Okay, I'm back. There's Desmond, by the way, if anybody cares. So sorry about that. I had to get my tea. And it's steeping now, so I will have some in a little bit. Um, I'm a, you know, tea and tarot is pretty much just a way of life, right? Tea and tarot, right? Um, in this case, Oracle. And the Pagan Otherworld deck is probably one of my absolute favorite decks ever. And so I had to get the Oracle deck, especially just looking at the few images. Does anyone else get nervous when they have a candle so close to their tarot cards? Because I feel like I'm just going to um, set my card right on top of it or something stupid. Deep breath. I'm going to light some more Palo Santo. I'm going to light another incense stick. I gotta get in the mood for this. I've been having a rough day. This is how I come down, is sitting and talking to myself. Or to you guys. But really, you're not here. But you are here. We're all here. All the time. What is time? It's a construct. Deep thoughts. Mm. That is... If you don't know about Palo Santo, it is one of the best incenses, and it lasts forever. I can this stick will last me like two years. Lemon water with flower essences. All right, the Supra Oracle. Back to it, guys. From UUSI UC. They also did the Pagan Otherworlds deck, so I'm very, very excited. This is a smaller deck. It's not 78 cards. And, of course, it comes in another bag. I love cotton bags so much. Um, or linen. I think this might actually be linen. Anyway, so this. Oh, look at that. So you get your UUSI bag. I had one for the uh, Pagan Otherworlds as well. And this is the, oh, beautiful. It also looks to have a golden seal. I don't have my fancy crease dagger handy. I think I did. Is that it? Oh, here it is. I know it's ridiculous that I started using this to open my decks, but I usually just have it sitting around um, looking. Oh, you know what? I don't need a knife for this deck. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because they were smart and they have a little pull tab on this one. These kids were thinking. It's like a, um, see, it's got the little ring. Oh, you can see it, right? So you can, so it'll, it'll open if I can get it started. Can she get it started? There it goes. Watch this. It's the little things, people. The little things. So easy. Now, because, now this one was just from last year. 2018. This is only an edition of 5,000. I didn't even know that this was limited. That's a lot, but still. It's a first edition. Um, ooh, and look at all those threes and nines. Yes. I, uh, everything in threes. Three is my big number. My botanical herb business is Triskelion Botanicals. The Triskel, the Triple Moon, uh, Everything three related is big to me. Um, the triple goddess, uh, although I look at her a little differently, um, but traditionally as well. So three is big. So that's fun. I've got the three, 3693 um, out of 5,000. All right, so I'm going to open this from the bottom because I don't want to break the seal. Okay, now this one is not gilded. Or maybe... So I could, ooh, okay. So here we go. Did I get everything out of there? Oh, I thought I missed one. Oh dear. Okay. Came with it now. Packaging. It's the same exact size as the 
Pagan Other Words tarot book. So it's a fun little square book. Um, full size pictures of the cards. Uh, just a small paragraph. Some of them are shorter than others. Um, but again, this is an Oracle deck. I find that Oracle decks, I don't want a lot of input, but just a little. Ooh, that's a good one. The animal card. Okay, we're going to get in right into the cards. I'm going to walk through these real quick. Um, I, uh, what I'll probably do is uh, do an actual, like, card for card walkthrough separately. And let me make sure that I'm start that I got the cards in the right order. And I think I do just that one that fell out. If it's supposed to be in the front or if the order even matters. And these are, yeah. Okay. So we have a start there have, um, and I believe the the pagan other worlds, I haven't had a chance to play with it much yet. Um, also has like a similar, like intro cards that aren't exactly part of the Oracle, but they can be. So here's your seeker card. And these seem to be all uh, sort of a sepia toned black and white, which I really love. So once you, I'm going to show you that. I don't think I showed that very well. Isn't that beautiful? And it's very shimmery gold. And just like the other box, it's a little bit textured here, uh, the gold printing. So it's so, okay. We have this, uh, after the seeker card, we have the self card. Um, we have your basic alchemical symbology for a lot of these. Um, but anyway, so we have all the alchemical symbols for the elements. And then we go into some more oracle cards. Oh, that's a beautiful card, the unconscious. Oh, and a moon card, which is who I identify with. We are just coming out of this full moon and I'm still sleepy. The full moon always makes me sleepy for some reason. Um, but I'm also agitated at the same time. It's a real horrible place to be. Um, spirit. So, oh, that's good. The mysticism card is nice. I like circles and mandalas as well as triskels, triquetras, all that stuff. Ooh, here's a good one. Improbability. Like, is she trying to shoot the moon, the stars, the clouds? Hard to say. Ugh. I do love the artists for this. Ooh, there's a beautiful, oh, this is a beautiful one right up my alley. Everydayness. So we have this very heady alchemical and, you know, subconscious stuff. And then we have this very basic everydayness just a bird sitting on a fence next to some I'm not sure what plants those are but I will find out Ooh, this is a good one I've seen this one from manifestation the spiral is also part of my sort of symbolic tool chest um, labyrinths are which we'll get to here in just a second and I'm gonna ooh imperfection um, the hole in the leaf. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, I do like the whole con Japanese concept of wabi-sabi. Um, you know, the beauty of imperfection, the, um, that's what I call it. Um, just that if things are a little off, oh, this is good. They have a nothing card. Um, now here we go. Now we're going to the labyrinth card. There's four cards. I'm going to have to show this one separately, but and they fit together. And then there are two more um, in here. After you get through some more cards, you fill up, there's a whole labyrinth. Perseverance, there's a good one, where the tree is hanging off the cliff and thriving. Um, oh, wow impasse bunch of brambles okay right, here we have the other two the top of the labyrinth thinking and feeling oh that's so cool okay. 
This is a really um, interesting deck when you lay the cards out on the table. So I'm going to shoot that um, another time. I don't have time to do that today. But Oh, interesting. Ego. Very much an Icarus imagery there. Fly too close to the sun, man. Think you can do more than you can handle. Come crashing down. And we have some more some symbols. So we have like some geometric solid stuff. And there's just a solid block. Uh, things like this. And then last but not least, we got these two guys. Right? So these are the only ones with color, these last four. I love it. Again, this is the Super Oracle. I will, um, when I do the layouts, so that's just a quick look at it in my unboxing. I'm really happy. I like it a lot. And Desmond takes my chair. Love it. Still back there. All right, so that's the Super Oracle from UUSI. I will put the link down below. It is a limited edition, first edition in any case. So um, if that's important to you, it is a large edition, but still. Uh, their work there, the cardstock is perfect. The printing is fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed that, the Super Oracle. And I'm going to go uh, take a little break. Cheers. <laughs>